Kraft mayonnaise is once again available and in reasonable quantity. Fine salad oil is more plentiful, and your food dealer should have a fair supply of Kraft mayonnaise soon, if not already. With its delicate homemade flavor, its creamy, satin-smooth texture, mayonnaise by Kraft is glamour for any salad. Only fine salad oil, selected eggs, fragrant vinegar and spices go into it. And as a final crowning touch, genuine fresh lemon juice is added. Then a special beater patented by Kraft is the secret of its marvelous texture. Yes, it's good news. Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise is once again available. Well, let's see now how Gildersleeve is coming in his negotiations with Leroy. Strolling out into the backyard, he finds Leroy hard at work in the garage. Well, my boy, what's going on here? Uh, cleaning up. This isn't like you, Leroy. Well, I'm just trying to clear a space here. Oh? Space for what? Well, uh, well, in case I get anything for Christmas that I need a space for. <laughs> Uh, say, Leroy. Yeah? I've been thinking about what we were talking about the other day, about Christmas. You mean about a scooter? Uh, well, no, about Christmas. There's one thing you've never asked for, Leroy, and I'm surprised you haven't. Because, gosh, I should think it would be an awful lot of fun. That's a train. A train? You mean an electric train? Sure, they're more fun than a barrel of monkeys. They have wonderful trains now. Oh, gee, I never thought you... Well, they have bridges and tunnels and automatic switches and, and whistles and everything. Regular little trains. Think what fun you and I could have if we built a railroad together. A miniature railroad. Would you help me? Help you. I'd be up there playing with it every evening. And Saturdays and Sundays as well. Say, that'd be super. We could make a bridge. Sure. We could have wrecks. Well, uh, yeah, sure. We could do anything. I don't know a finer toy for a boy than a train. Bushel of fun at the same time, educational and instructive. Just think, on rainy afternoons, Craig would be sitting over there looking out the window, unable to ride his scooter, and you'd be up in your room with your train, having the time of your life. Oh, boy, would Craig be sore. He'd be wanting to play with my train all the time. Yeah. Fat chance. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he wasn't smart enough to ask for a train for Christmas. That's his tough luck. <laughs> hey, I just remembered. I've got a train catalog. It's Pigs, but he lent it to me. It's up in my room. Shall I go get it? Let's go up there and look at it together, shall we, Leroy? Pick out the stuff we'll need. Okay. Yeah, come along. Hey, you know what they have now? They have automatic couplers and locomotives that puff smoke even. Will Craig be sore? Yeah. I'm going to clean everything else out of my room and just have trains. I better keep the room locked when I'm not in there in case of the kids. You can play with it anytime you want, though, Unc. And signals. They have automatic signals. <laughs> Pretty excited, aren't you, my boy? Tell you what we'll do. We'll not only get a train, we'll each get an engineer's cap. A well? Sure, whenever we play with the trains. I'll be the engineer and you can be the fireman. Oh, no, I'm the engineer. You can be the conductor. It's all right, Chief, whatever you say. You're the boss. Board! Toot, 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 toot. <laughs> Where's the catalog, Leroy? Uh, just a sec, Unc. I'll find it here somewhere. Maybe it's under this stuff. Oh? You sure you had it? Yeah, it's here all right. I put it where I'd be sure and find it. Uh, maybe in here. Oh? Uh -huh. This room of yours could stand a little straightening up, Leroy. Yeah, I was just going to... Ah, here it is. Here it is, Unc. Well, let's... Sit down here among the debris and look at it together. Oh, what have you got in your bed there? Huh? I sat on something. Let me see. Oh, it's my toy tank. Yeah. Well, that's not a very good way to take care of it, Leroy. I don't need it anymore. What the heck? The war's over. It... <laughs> I certainly hope you'll take better care of your train than that. Oh, sure. I'll take good care of it. Well, good. Let's see here now. Let me show you. Yeah? Here, here's the locomotive I like. In the big one, Unc, you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hudson-type locomotive, real headlight, automatic reverse, firebox glows red, accurate in every detail. Thirty-seven fifty. And, and then, then here's the tender that goes with it. That's the coal cart. Yeah. You see, it has a whistle gadget built right into it. Eleven twenty-five. Mm, let me look at that book, Leroy. Sure. Yeah. 
scale model passenger cars, each 875. Mm -hmm. Remote control switch, 650. Automatic crossing gate, 450. The complete Hudson Flyer train outfit. Includes locomotive, tender, three passenger cars, 16 sections of track, two switches, a hundred and... In... Here. Where are you going? Uh, no place. Mm. You know, Leroy, when you come right down to it, the toys you have the most fun with are the toys you make yourself. What do you mean? Uh, how would you like a set of tools, my boy, of your very own? No trains? Well, I'll tell you now about trains. The trouble with trains, you, you play with them a few times, and, uh, and, and then you get tired of them. Now, if I got you a train, why, next year you'd have completely outgrown it, my boy. Be just kicking around here getting busted like all this other stuff. Just make you feel bad. Now, I think it'd be much more sensible if... Uh, Leroy, are you listening to what I have to say? What do I want with tools? I can use yours. But if you had tools of your own, my boy, your very own... You're too big a boy for trains and kid stuff like that. I'm not so big. But just think, Leroy. Tools. You could make things. Tie racks. Tabarets. Some fun. All right. If you're going to be like that about it. If you won't cooperate, we'll just forget about Christmas. That's all. We'll just forget all about it. There'll be no Christmas. That's all. Christmas is for people who cooperate. We'll just give Marjorie all the presents. That's all. <laughs> Well, why doesn't somebody say something? Would you like some more of something, Mr. Gill, please? Uh, no, thanks, Bertie. Where's Leroy? Up in his room. Did you tell him I said to come down? Yes. All right, he can just go without his supper, then. He said he didn't want any. He's in bed. In bed? Mr. Gillsleeve, I know it's none of my business, but when a boy don't want to eat, I don't... Now, Bertie, I'll handle this. Yes, sir. Leroy is uh, in bed, you say? Yes. Oh, that's too bad. Confounded. Why does Christmas have to come up anyway? Just makes for a lot of trouble. A lot of hard feeling. <sighs> Hope Leroy didn't take me literally when I said there wouldn't be any Christmas. Poor little fellow. After all, he is just a kid. He's probably up there crying his eyes out. Maybe I ought to run up and speak to him, huh? What do you think, Bertie? Why don't you do that, Mr. Gilsey? Uh, will you excuse me, Marjorie? Certainly. But I don't know that Leroy will. <laughs> uh -huh. Go up and see. Uh, I'll put this back in the oven and keep it warm for you, Miss Gilsey. Don't bother, Bertie. I don't deserve it. Poor little tyke. I'm too hard on the boy, that's all. I don't mean to be. It's Christmas, that's what it is. Oh, Leroy. It's your old uncle, Leroy. Mind if I come in? Oh. Hi, Unc. Hi. Well, you don't look particularly heartbroken, I must say. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. I, I just uh, thought I might as well go to bed. After all, I have to go to bed sometime, hey, Unc? <laughs> What's that you've got in bed with you? Huh? Hey, come on, come on. Now, what is it? Oh, nothing, Uncle. Honest. No kidding, I haven't... Come on. You want me to pull off the covers? No, really. I'll show you both my hands. Look. Leroy. I don't know how he got in here, Uncle. I tried to get rid of him like you told me, honest. But he climbed up on the roof and begged me to let him in. Leroy. Oh, please. He hasn't got a home. <laughs> Would you like to keep him, my boy? Keep him? You mean it? We'll see. Do you think you'd rather have the cat than a train, Leroy? Oh, boy, would I? You'd rather have him than a set of tools? Are you kidding? Yeah. Okay, Leroy, you may keep him. Oh, thanks, Unc. You're a super. Hey, this cat's crazy about me, Unc. No huh? kidding. I'm going to teach him tricks and everything. That's a very valuable cat, you know it. Well, I'm glad you're pleased with him, Leroy. And by the way, I want to apologize for shouting at you the way I did. Oh, that's okay. I guess your old uncle gets off his trolley once in a while. Who doesn't? I make mistakes myself. Oh. <laughs> now, why don't you slip on your bathrobe and come down to supper? Can I bring the cat? All right.
I bring the cat. Liberty Hall, Christmas comes but once a year. If it came any oftener, we'd never live through it. <laughs> the Great Gildersleeve will be back again very shortly. Well, these are busy days, all right. Christmas shopping, planning meals, to say nothing of holiday entertaining. So it's good news, I know, that famous Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise is back. You'll never again bother to make your own once you try it. Kraft Mayonnaise, you remember, is the superior mayonnaise sure to bring compliments wherever it's served. It has a truly distinctive flavor that comes from the choice ingredients that go into it. Fine salad oil, selected eggs, fragrant vinegar and spices... And as a final touch of perfection, fresh lemon juice. Choose it always for delicate, just right flavor and for marvelous texture. A special beater patented by Kraft gives Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise a creamy, satin smoothness you could never accomplish in your own kitchen. You'll be proud to serve Kraft Mayonnaise. It's once again available in reasonable quantity. interested in tools. Yeah, well, I'm using yours. I hope you don't mind. Well, not if you put them away. Uh, what are you doing there? Making something. Oh, making something. May I ask what it is, or uh, is that telling? It's something for the cat. Oh, well, that's a good idea. The cat. <laughs> what is it? A house? No, it's not a house. It's a, a box, sort of. Oh, uh, Cat box. No, well, no, no, it's not a box, really. It, well, it's to ride the cat on the back of my motor scooter. Oh, oh uh, I know I'm not going to get one, Unc, I know. But it never does any harm to be on the safe side, you know. Nuts. Right back where we started. <laughs> Only now we've got a cat. <laughs> nice, folks. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Harold Perry. It is written by John Whedon and Sam Moore. The music is by Jack Meekin. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley as Leroy, Louise Erickson as Marjorie, and Lillian Randolph as Bertie. Richard Legrand as Mr. Peavy. This is John Lang saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company and inviting you to listen in again next Wednesday for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. Plenty of rich, velvety, smooth ice cream. Any flavor you like, always on hand. Sound swell? It is, and so easy to enjoy when you buy the new craft product called Frizz, F-R-I-Z-Z. Yes, Frizz makes delicious homemade ice cream right in your refrigerator. Real ice cream with plenty of milk and cream in it. Just add water, a little sugar, and freeze according to directions on the package. Made by an exclusive process that retains that fresh cream flavor, it freezes smoothly, gives you six generous servings from one package of frizz. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. <laughs> <laughs>